6 o'clock. Call a meeting to order. Can I get the uh, motion for the minutes of uh, January 9th and 14th and warrants 15, 15P and CC4? I will move that we approve the minutes from January 9th and 14th and <coughs> uh, bills for payment 15, 15P and the other ones that you mentioned CC4. which aren't on my... No, no, no. No. But okay. they're in the packet. Yeah, in the packet. That's the... Um, Second, the conservation con yes. Yeah. Yeah. Discussion on these. Um, I was a little concerned after all the budgeting and cuts that we've done on the budgeting that we're spending $150 to videotape a presentation on birds for the conservation through BCTV. That bothered me a tiny bit. Yeah. That's yeah. probably coming out of their budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm sure it is, but <coughs> we cut a lot of hundred dollar things here and there and I'm not sure how the taxpayers would feel about spending money to videotape a presentation but just a concern I have. might depend on what it's being used for. <clears throat> it could be there in perpetuity and they might use it over and over again for educational purposes in which case it could easily be worth that maybe more. I believe that's what Mary Ellen Copeland's email said when she requested yeah. That would make sense as opposed to just paying somebody 150 bucks to videotape it to play it on BCTV. Well, BCTV kindly uh, puts those things on. I've done things myself that we do at the high school. They put them on, although I do them for free. Yeah, I guess some of my concern is why we're charging. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with just you. a concern I had. I, yeah. they, they have the money budgeted, but I just think as hard as it is to budget mm -hmm. money that we need to be careful what we spend it on. Right. Anything else? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, recognition of visitors. Tristan, uh, Johnson, and Kelly, you guys want to come up to the table, please? Sure. Mm -hmm. You get called to the table, you're special. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Special treatment from Lewis. Hello, yes. Lewis White. Tristan Johnson, obviously. Kelly Farley. Bill Hall. Bill Hall. I don't think we've ever met. And Steve Blayback. Steve. Oh, yeah. Steve yeah. the fan. Oh, yeah. 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 Mr. Goodman, nice to meet you. It's a what big deal that? getting him to shake our hand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no hugs. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Well, we just wanted to come here on behalf of the Landmark Trust USA and the Scott Farm and to introduce our new executive director, Tristan Johnson. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Hardly yeah. even been here a month, so he's, uh, you know, fastened to the fire here. But um, we thought it was important to rebuild some bridges with our community, our neighbors, our town government, um, give you a chance to meet him. And while we're here, address um, any concerns you might have with events uh, coming up this year at the farm, and just to kind of let you know what we've got going on there, and see if you have any questions. Um, anybody? Any questions? Uh, I was just going to offer myself if you want to talk anytime. I've been in communication with the previous director mm -hmm. on numerous occasions mm -hmm. <laughs> outside the. Uh, realm of some discussions that had taken place <laughs> prior to, so. That sounds suspicious. <laughs> it's, it's a loaded political statement, but uh -huh. um, get a hold of me. We, we, we had already talked about some ideas. Uh -huh. um, Regarding? Well, um, the value of the property where, mm -hmm. where you are to the community, uh -huh. um, maybe not entirely appreciated at this point. Mm -hmm. So, maybe we can work together to make that. Certainly, certainly. Yeah. Now, I live in New Thing. We bought our house some time ago. I graduated from SIT and serve now on the New Thing Town Planning Commission. I'm the chair, and so I've actually met one member of your planning commission, Andrew, is that right? Yep. Yeah. We had a, quite a conversation the other day about whether it's possible for the Federal Outing Club to share use of the tennis court at Malaka, and so we are mm -hmm. just looking at Basically, branching out, you know, reaching to neighbors, trying to explore what's a logical and simple uh, workable arrangement, and um, basically trying to put my personality out that is a different place. 
that the, we are now in a new chapter. Well, let's close the old chapter and start with the new, and I think everybody will be happy to close that old chapter. And uh, I'll tell you that firsthand. So. Okay. Well, is there something I should plan to come up and talk to you all about in the near future, or <clears throat> does anybody think of anything? I mean, okay, just well, like I said, if you have ideas right. yourself about the direction you're going, I'll I'll be happy to be here, and yeah. if it leads to the necessity of you coming back and mm -hmm. running it by the board, uh, we can determine that. Great. We're having the first board meeting is this Sunday. Uh, which will be my first chance to work with all five of them. And there's an awful lot of work to do, an awful lot. Um, but actually a good quantity. I'm really looking forward, and so are they, about uh, what they can take charge of and, and help to uh, put together to guide the organi both organizations. And um, so I think we have a really positive future ahead of us. Really positive. This Sunday is your meeting? Yeah, Sunday Where afternoon. do you meet? We're going to meet in the Sugar House. So... I don't know where it'll usually be, but it'll be in the sugar house this weekend. <coughs> Transition Dummerston is actually meeting at the Dutton Farmhouse um, on Sunday as well. It was our first opportunity to um, offer our services, our properties, um, whatever we can do to reach out to the community and be a resource for them. Yes, yeah, so, um, it's really exciting. Yeah, well in done. In the office these days. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I just thought I'd let you know so we have four weddings on our docket so far this year. We will probably pick up one or two more. We also have our farm dinner the last weekend in October. We'd love it if any of you could make it. Mm. Um, so you will probably be seeing a minimum of five and probably a maximum of seven requests for liquor permits this year. And other than that, not much more some very small workshops, pie making, peach tarts, cider, hard cider. Um, but do you do any pruning and grafting workshops? Um, yes, <laughs> we'll be, uh, we're pruning. looking for somebody to lead them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing pruning and grafting in uh, March 16th, and uh, tree sale uh, Mother's Day weekend in May. Um, and hopefully we'll be doing some orchard tours this year. We talked about doing orchard strolls for many, many years. And uh, I think this year we'll actually be able to follow through with that, which will be nice, Sunday mornings. Um, a lot of resources available that we will now be able to kind of tap into. So that's exciting. And we are looking for suggestions from other <coughs> community members in ways that we might be a resource for the town. Um, if you have ideas, we had talked about perhaps offering up the farm for a fundraiser for the volunteer fire department. Um, that was uh, the first thing we were just sort of thinking of ways that we could. And the library and the historical. Society. I was accosted at the, at having, the door having, about the library. <laughs> <laughs> just having a little fun. All in one event? <laughs> sure. Sure. The grand poop <laughs> You can could invite the Ogallala to their sun dance. Sure. To bring a heck of a crowd. Yeah. <laughs> the sun would do well tomorrow. I think we'd all look forward to it. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it sounds great. It really, um, I think, can only be good things from now on. So. Also, the Planning Commission has submitted the uses unspecified uh, change in our zoning, which might really be helpful to you and your events over there. And we're going to be having our hearing on it the end of February. Mm -hmm. So that might be something you may want to look into and participate in. Uh, I think it would help you a lot in your uh, permitting. That's the comment? Your events. That's the comment period for that section of the plan? Um, we're going to have our public meeting with the select board. I think it's the 20th February 20th. 20th. Yeah. February 20th. Um, mm -hmm. Which would be an open comment mm -hmm. session and discussion right. that evening. And it, it, it might really help you when you're dilemma we have with the permitting. It is a dilemma? Yeah. Oh, all right. It has been a dilemma, yeah. <laughs> well, let's figure out this how might to help. un -dilemma. Yeah, Andrew actually in suggested that we come to a planning commission uh, meeting. Yeah. Not this, I guess they had the one this week, so in two more Yeah, months. this was just a work session this week. Yeah. Other than that, I think, you know, 
We look forward to seeing good things from you guys. We look forward to it also. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Well, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, thank you for very much for coming. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Good night. Huh? Oh. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to have hair? Lee, come on up. Right. <clears throat> I just had a couple things on that... Um, Email from Matt Mann about um, the bridge being closed for a maximum of um, four weeks, seven days, um, periods. Four, four seven separate. day periods. Yeah. yeah. Um, that really doesn't have anything to do with us getting any funding or anything like that for Upper Dummerston Road. That comes at a later date. That's just letting the contractors know what the penalties are and how much time they're actually allowed to close Route 30. Um, so as far as the town goes with that email, it's pretty much we have to wait and see um, type thing, uh, what we're going to actually get for upgrades or compensation for the use of Upper Dunnerston really as a detour. Um, the traffic counts that he's talking about are strictly in Bradboro, but they should give a pretty good general idea of what are in Emerson also. Um, so it, it really isn't a whole lot to do with, um, you know, that we have to worry about right now. Um, he did say they have uh, three people who submitted um, uh, bids um, on the project and uh, they're going over those now and, and he says they look they all look good um, as far as uh, design and take a lot of things into effect so um, last week um, we ended up clearing the trees for rice farm cemetery um, and Doug or well Rusty Waterman should be coming tomorrow to um, clean up the logs and pulp and then we should be done for a while. You, yeah. you guys did that yourselves, the town guys. Yeah, Good. yeah. Um, there are two trees to go along with that, two smaller trees that lean right over the cemetery that we didn't feel really comfortable with. Um, we did get a price from uh, Godfrey, um, $225 <coughs> to um, cut them and get them on the ground. So um, the cemetery committee met, met, and I was there tonight, and uh, we're going to have them cut those trees and then then that should be all the trees <coughs> uh, <coughs> you, we're going to have a cemetery update on that or do you want me to just talk about what go, their plan no, was go ahead and the, the plan um really is for the stumping i know steven mentioned question about you know when the stumping bids and stuff are going to come out um in the spring um when everything can be done all at once stumps um, if there's stone walls to be removed and placed other spots, um, uh, seeding, mulching, all that kind of stuff, um, that's when the bids for that portion will, will go out. Um, or prices amongst like four contractors in town, um, what they came up with. Um, Are you gonna, uh, do you have a way to get rid of the stumps? In, that was that, that was one of the questions. Yeah. Um, that was we talked about was um, as far as uh, there's there's not going to be a lot of stumps. Oh, okay. Um, and there, um, you know, I'm sure we could we could find okay. them up there, but um, if we have to go somewhere else, that should be definitely um, brought up. Yeah. And um, so everyone knows. That's always an issue on a job. Yeah, exactly. And knows. And um, and then we would decide to, um, as far as I know, I think we're going to be able to haul the stumps, you know, yep. to wherever we decide to go. Yep. But I definitely think in the spring we can definitely find out more information on that. Um, the only other thing I had was um, Dutton Farm Road projects um, going well um, as far as... Uh, I met with John Alexander, he's an engineer and in charge of the structures fund as far as a lot of money um, from the state and Mark Pickering and a couple other associates. 
we all looked at the project because uh, it was a good day to do it, and uh, and uh, they definitely think it's a good project to do. They um, did say that uh, you know it's, um, they don't see many towns wanting to do these projects themselves, um, but call us whatever we are. Um, but they they looked over the plans. Everything was good. They actually have some money left over from last year, and which would be available um, sooner rather than later. As far as uh, I think it's available, just say I'm not sure on the date, but just say before June, and then the other money's after June. Whenever we do get us accepted for a project, we have two years to complete it, so it doesn't really matter. We'd be better off getting the money now, and so then we'd um, we'd be eligible maybe earlier, um, you know, the next time too. So we could just move the process up. Um, the right of ways. Um, I don't know if anyone looked, but um, on the plans, this is where we have to go out of the right of way for the three property owners. Um, David Baker is definitely fine. He's he still has to come up here and sign the paperwork. Um, uh, Renee, Renee, Rania, Rania uh, Havelson. Um, she sent her paperwork back, signed as far as for her person. And Cheryl Bedard, um, I dropped it off tonight. She's going to look it over. I give her a call in the morning, and um, I've talked to him before. Right. But it's just a matter of getting everything signed. Then I think we can come up with the um, uh, structures paperwork and send it in. Um, so, I do think that's, it is going well. But other than that, on the questions, uh, we do have a new form to fill out this year too when we apply for structures and it asks if it's a stone culvert, if it's a, um, anything to do with historical, anything to that effect. When, when on that structure it's a stone, well partially stone culvert. Um, they did say that since it's got to go right in the back in the same spot, it's pretty obvious that one's got to come out. But um, and David Baker would kind of like us to use stone as uh, wing walls on the upper end, and that's what John was saying that you know if you maybe you could use those stones as wing walls, mm -hmm. um, and that would you know kind of make everyone happy. Um, so that's that's what we've drawn in. It's just a matter of uh, I think that will work fine. All right. Do you have anything for Lloyd? Okay. All right. Well, thanks Thank a lot. You. Yep. Thank you very did, much. did you want to talk to them about the, since I put it on the, under the wrong heading? Oh, the certification of highway mileage? Yeah, just came. Did you want to talk about? Oh, oh, the paperwork that came in with Bill and, yeah, and Pam. Um, of course, I haven't been working on it very much. I just worked with Pam and Bill a little bit in the office here, but um, there, I don't know if anyone's familiar with the town maps with the highway numbers and the road names, and they don't correspond everywhere. Um, the mileage, as far as class two, class three, four, is pretty close, or you know, it's I would say that's it's pretty good. It's just it's more road name and road number. Um, and Pam wrote everything down, all our changes, um, sent it up to the mapping folks. Um, they pretty much <laughs> sent the information back that, and correct me if I'm wrong, if I get this wrong, but it's mm -hmm. it's been that way since 1940. Um, why are you asking <laughs> yeah, to change why, it? Why are you asking <laughs> to change it? Things um, like Town Highway 2 out here, which yeah, Bunker Road yeah. is 80, and it just continues and in West Dumberston Village with Leonard Road and, yeah. and yeah. West Street, uh, the mileage isn't right. And that's been the same way they said. They really were negative, so they're going to get a phone call tomorrow. Yes, and that's um, <coughs> and that was the other part. Yeah, Bill was going to give him a phone call, I guess, mm -hmm. and then um, and then uh, I guess Matt Mann 
um, might be the next step. When when you met with Matt down there, he said it. Mm-hmm. He thought it was a good idea to get this we were map very, cleaned very up, urged, get everything yeah. right on it. Yeah. Um, we're not really asking for more money, less money, because the the class two, class three is no, is the easy. same. Um, so it's it's pretty much just cleaning up a map. Just make our um, map accurate. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Matt was very enthusiastic about that, said it was the correct way to go. Yeah. We enthusiastically came back. Pam went very fast because she's got this February 5 deadline. I think it's February 10th. It's February 10th, deadline. yeah, okay, yeah. for this uh, certificate of mileage. And we don't need to write a report, the ancient roads people. We just need to uh, submit whatever changes we're recommending through this annual process. So we thought we'd try as many as we could this year. Mm-hmm and see what happened and the state kind of <laughs> flushed us down the toilet and those emails just came through uh 2:30 this afternoon right. so but i looked them over uh, those this was looking for in my car but um we'll try to t- take care of it tomorrow with, with some phone calls and this just all it's, seems like logical changes yes, exactly. to make the map more yeah. accurate. You recognize the work, all of it, right? Yeah, this is, all, this is right. what Pam has said. Right. Everything. There's yeah. nothing out of the you know, ordinary right, yeah. or anything mm-hmm. like that. It's, it's no really... You got one, um, one hand telling you to, to handle the ancient roads and mm. get all this work squared away, and then you do it, and somebody says, what are you sending us that way? Been this way since That's the idea. We're trying to update it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But exactly. I'll get to the bottom of it okay. tomorrow. I've got some time on it. Isn't it a safety issue if the state is saying, you know, bunker, um, what is it, middle road goes all the way to Putney? Mm. I mean, and the good someone calls for help. Yeah. Or right. Help. I guess um, Pam was explaining it. Really, the state, I don't believe they use any really... Um, road names so it's it's all numbers so they really if you ask them town highway 2 they would say town highway 2 goes from there all the way to putney um Mm -hmm. from brat to putney um Mm -hmm. the problem is is with pam doing deeds um title searches searches, you know they that's when it gets um Mm -hmm. more of the problem um and just why not have it right? Exactly. You know? yeah. The whole idea behind this Act 178 was to help clean up this kind of stuff for the realtors and the banks and the okay, and, yeah. and so here we're trying to do it and this so, is the first roadblock we yeah. went into and yeah. at the worst place. Yeah. Right. So yeah, maybe a re-education. Program. We're on the right track. Anymore. It's just a matter of if you can get anyone to listen. Yeah. You know. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Or to do anything. Mm. Okay. I don't know if this is kosher, but dovetailing off that down to the Ancient Roads Committee update, that's a lot of it um, right there. And the meeting that we had in uh, at Wyndham Regional with Matt Mann uh, was very encouraging. He was excited about how much had been done and agreed with everything that we had said, including some of the things that you wanted, Lee. Um, and Pam was so encouraged that we were trying to get the lion's share of it done on this year's annual report to the state about our roads. February 10, I guess, is the deadline. So she must have put it in overdrive for a few days here. Oh, yeah, she's we, been working hard on it. We weren't expecting that, yeah. yeah. We won't do anything on it until our next meeting. So. Right. Well, clearly, though, you know, the Ancient Roads uh, Committee is much closer to an end than the beginning at this point, <laughs> and uh, way ahead of deadline. Good, really Especially good. if we can jump over this hoop yeah. uh, tomorrow. I'll, I'll apply a little Lewis White uh, <laughs> in the fiddle <laughs> call. Just, <laughs> just tell him your name is Lewis White. I'll do it all the way Okay. You go all, right. You. all right, let's move let's yeah. move along now guys. Sorry. Uh, thank you, Lee. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Lee. Okay. Correspondence for information. Alright. Anything there we wanna bring up? Nope. Okay. Uh, does anyone want to be the point person for 
when BLCT sends their appraiser down to reappraise the any properties over fifty thousand dollars? What does that entail exactly? You know, just I mean, do they come just in the daytime when I'm at work? Or yeah, when we're, we're, we're at work. I never can get out of work. So it's not it's going to the school. I'm here. Or I'm it doesn't go to the school. It goes here. Community Center. Community Center. Covered Bridge. I think we went around with them last time when they did it several Let's, years ago. You want to make a point him to be the point person? I'd say, yeah, sure. You could ask that. him, is he gone? Oh. He is. I want to put the hook out, bring him in from the bullpen. <laughs> I'll just show him <laughs> Noah how to use town view. <laughs> um, hey, um, the BLCT needs a um, person to, uh, point person to walk around with them when they do reappraisals on the um, town. Yeah, well, that's I did that before. You want to do that again? Yeah. You were going to anyway, so thanks for, <laughs> thanks for coming in and just that. interpointing. Yeah. <laughs> he was out just long enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got a point first. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, correspondence for discussion and or action. Uh, email from Herb Rest. Herb, how you doing again? Good <clears throat> Everybody see that email? Yes, I did. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Any comments on that email from anybody? Uh, I think we should um, give the DRB the authorization to go ahead and participate in the phone conversation. Is that what it is? No, it's now it's going to be a hearing. Now they're, hearing. They, they've gone past the uh, phone conversation. Okay. And they're actually into hearings. All right. Now. Then I, my inclination would be to, uh, they've offered to attend the hearing. Uh, they need our authorization, and I would give it to them. Anybody else? Anything? Yeah. It was very well written. Um, yeah, just, just a comment. I mean, I'm just concerned. I mean, once once it gets the, to the um, gets to the court system, uh, the DRB really has no standing. It belongs to the select board to make a decision as to who represents the town if they're going to, going to be represented. And so the only way that we could participate is if we were officially appointed as representatives of the community in this matter. Which brought up the only question I had when I saw your email, and that was how pressing is something like that? When you send something out like that, do you need that authorization quickly, or is there, no. I mean, this meeting's uh, enough time? Yeah, for you? We, yeah. Have let the, we just have to let the uh, environmental court know that we represent the community, represent the community and you know, we would have your authorization here. I thought from your email you were comfortable in doing that. Yeah, Lou and I were both, both volunteered to go ahead and do that, one or, one or the other or both of us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, that'll be fine. Yeah. Just, just to let them know, yeah. you know the logic of, or, or, or maybe, maybe the sources of our decision within the, within the zoning bylaws. Who would, who would know it any better than you? <coughs> well, that's, but that's, I guess, where my issue with it is, yeah. is, is, I guess, having a third party look at it and see where they come up with the same thing. I mean, like I've said constantly, if you guys did what you say you did was out of the zoning, right. I don't see where we have to have any representation. I think the courts will look at that and should be able to see what you saw. And if they don't, then I have an issue. So that's why I sort of like to have a third party just look at it without anything else there. Well, but you, but you also have to remember that the Thebaults will have somebody representing. Who? Uh, excuse me? Who? You, Herb, you did this last meeting, and it bothered me, and I want to speak to it this today. Right. It's the Tebos. Oh, Tebow, okay. Because T Bolt, I mean, you said it, and it, you you're working on this, and you worked on it this whole time with them. I would, I'd appreciate it if you got their name right. It's oh, just well, a respect. The they had representation, so the court will be hearing one side, one one perspective of um, of the argument. Well, and, and you're and. But, and it's up to you, I, you know, it's up to you guys, but, you know, the, the court, it's going to be the judge's responsibility to go back in and see everything that we saw, uh, and, you know, without, without any representation from the town, uh, you're assuming that he's going to be as thorough as, 
you know, as, as thorough as we were. And the council, oh, and when we... Uh, when we went to council to talk just to see if we needed rep yeah. that's what they said they were going to do they go through our whole zoning and they find all this stuff yeah. and so that's why i that's why my my feeling is i would like mostly and this this case here to me is it, tom, tom after tom had talked about it the last time <clears throat> and how this thing has all evolved made me go back and do a lot of research on this and I was looking up papers. It, it, this is starting to become more of a neighborhood thing, and I don't think it should be. It's it's our zoning. It's our zoning, and I think when outside people look at it, and I, you know, and I had two phone calls about it, and basically saying this looks like a class thing because you had people right across the street, and that. So I went and did some research on. Who was involved in all of this? And you know, I'm not. I would not accuse anybody of it. But if people make it, if it looks like it to somebody, it's not good. And just the just the looks of it, you look confused, Herb. Yeah, you recuse. You recuse yourself of the Ables. Um, the hearing on the, at the Ables. What is that? The Able. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Now you recused. Now are you friends with the Ables? Yeah. Is that why you recused yourself? Yes. No. And the Ables are a real concerned party of this, and so it makes it look like you're now you're doing this. But no, I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying. You, I'm saying what it can look like to people. And I said, like I said, I had two phone calls, and this was exactly it. And that's why I realized that you had recused yourself of the Ables is when I went back to look at this, and then. Lou sat at the meeting, our last meeting when we talked about this, and said he had nothing to do with the Ables getting a six-foot fence in their yard, being able to put a six-foot fence in their yard. And so I was part of that whole, that whole thing, and I'm like, my golly, I am pretty sure Lou did have something to do with that. So I look back on that. And when he, he, he wasn't on the planning commission, he wasn't on the select board, but he was on the DRB, and as a DRB member, he wrote a letter to the select board and to the planning commission, strongly requesting that they relook at this and make a six-foot fence available. And he also told the Ables they didn't have to do anything because they were changing the zoning. Because the Ables came to a meeting and told us, "Well, we were told we don't have to do anything because the zoning's all going to get changed, so we can have our six-foot fence." And those, you know, that that I know because I was on the board at the time. The fact about him writing that is in a, in in the um, minutes of the DIB decision. Mm -hmm. And so then you then you stop and you you look at now they're they're complaining about their neighbor. You're you're their friend. You're you're on this one. To me, you know, after looking at it, maybe you should have recused yourself from it. Okay, let me let me respond to that. Sure. Because you don't have all of your facts straight. Okay. The Ables have were not involved in any complaints against their neighbors. I know that. They came to the hearing and came to the DRB and sat as quiet members of the audience, gave no testimony. Their only involvement in this thing is that they're neighbors. Period. And I understand that, and I understand. I also know when they said why they put their fence up, why they put that fence up. Because we, what I'm trying to say is, it doesn't look good. Is what I, all I'm saying is, it doesn't look good. Uh, okay. And that's, I mean, that's, you know. So concretely, Lewis, what are you suggest suggesting to eliminate this? I'm possible impropriety. What, I, what I'm saying is I think we should do what we have said from the very outset of this is and before and before I gone and done all this looking up and stuff let it go through the court system and let the court it be, it, just like I said our lawyer told us that we don't have to have counsel there because the court will go through our zoning and they will they're going to look at our zoning where all this stuff falls to see if it is correct or not. And so I'm saying we 
do what we have been saying right along and not do anything. Let it go through the courts. But I mean, in, that's just how I feel about it. But I, go ahead. I guess I'm a little confused, Herb. I thought originally, prior to the first phone call, that anybody that wanted to be party to this hearing could get on the list. Is that? That's my recollection. That was my recollection. We got a letter that anybody wanted to be party to this could be involved in the phone call, and so I guess going back to that, why wasn't the DRB involved prior to the first phone call? What was your thought process? Well, because we had no standing. I mean, I I, I have no. I have no vested in his interest in having this thing go one way or another after I make my decision as a DRB member. You know, once we're done with that, we basically wash our hands, that's the decision, and then it goes to the town to do whatever they're going to do, do with it. I don't represent the town. I could, I could participate as, a, as a, perhaps a biased citizen. I see, okay. But I certainly can't represent the town or the DRB. Yeah, you, know, you had something? I, I was basically going to say the same oh. thing Herb did there. Okay. You know, anybody can listen to, to go to a court hearing, but anybody cannot talk at a court hearing. Only a party to the case can talk, and the DRB is not a party. Then, isn't it, it's my understanding that the ABLES have party status. They do. They do have party status. For what reason, I don't know. I, I, my understanding of that letter we got originally was that anybody could be party status by signing up prior to the original to court phone call. Decision, right. To the original phone call uh, to discuss the case in right. the beginning. And I, I think, Gail, yeah, that's how I remember it. I know you were shaking your head no. Well, but, um, the, uh, and that's, uh, why, that's how I believe, uh, that's how I thought the Ables got their status. Too. Right. Anybody could have. Right, anybody. Right. Right. See, and and it may not have been. I mean, you may not have been able to say I'm going as the DRB, but you could add status and said, "Here's where this came and this came." Um, I, I hate to pass along like secondhand knowledge because we, this is how I think we get into trouble with different people saying different <coughs> things. But Lou had also called the state environmental court, and they said that he could not have status, you know, unless appointed by the town to represent the town. Right. So, well, that's what. That's what Herb is saying yeah, now yeah, is email. Yeah. So but, it sounds like anybody anybody cannot just have status. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe not. Maybe I guess not. I'm going to have to go back and look at that yeah, notice because right. yeah. I thought even I could have had status as a, right. if I wanted to. Right. Just be. Can you look that up for Anybody else have anything while Lori's looking that up? Or, I mean, it, it, that may not matter to anybody. It, I mean, whether that's the case or not the case. I, mean, I guess I feel like the DRB should have the opportunity to explain how they came to their finding. Um, I, yeah, I lean that way too, that they should at least be able to go and if the judge says, well, what page was that reference on, they can say, well, page 56. Uh, I don't think, um, I think that would be fine to uh, go and explain what their thinking was or how they applied the zoning bylaws to this particular case, if that's of value to the judge in deciding. So you want to make a motion to that, Z? Um, I will, yes, I'll make a motion that we allow um, uh, or appoint, let me see, what would be the right word? We authorize either or both, how about this, we authorize uh, members of the DRB to attend this hearing as representatives of the town. And Herb, can I, oh, do I have a second to that? 
um, as representatives of the DRB for the town. I, I, yes, I would not okay. want them to represent right the DRB if we could right. just leave. Well, they're the representing the town. The town as a DRB member. They are representing the town. So you were yeah, saying you would not approve that? They have to be representing the town once they go. I mean, oh, okay. they're no longer representing the DRB. They're representing the town. They're going to speak for the town. Is that, is that, that, is that, that your understanding? That would be my understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's a tough decision. We have discuss. Oh, we don't have a second yet, do we? I'll second it. Okay. okay. We Dis have discussion. discussion. Um, <clears throat> I was going to ask you something, Herb. <laughs> well, it's a tough thing because <clears throat> there's clearly two sides to this issue. There's a segment of the community that thinks the zoning is mm -hmm. overstepped itself, and there's a segment that thinks the zoning is not doing the job. So, it, it's <clears throat> it would be nice to have that independent person look at it that you're discussing. Um, but I also feel compelled to have the DRB represent themselves and how they came to this decision. It only makes sense. They um, have to. Yeah. Herb, can I ask a question? Do you know if it's too late now or it, did the court, when, when they called, did the court say you could still do it? Because at that one we time... We haven't talked to the court since the... Uh, since because the at the one time... Call, I, I, okay. I would assume... Uh, that we can still uh, still have party status as, as representative of the town. Okay, because I know on that the letter that we got from the court said if you don't right. do it by this right. before this phone call, there is no more. All right, well, and, and making sure I don't know. Okay, we have to go. And and the the other thing I wanted to bring up is when I called um, Walter French and told him that we were not interested in you know doing any negotiating with them he you know and i did say something to him about you know basically why you know why did you ask the judge he goes we did not ask the judge the judge suggested it to us so it didn't have to go to court finish going to court he says that was not our you know that wasn't our choice to negotiate with the town which was implied at our which, other meeting. In, was, in, yeah. in, in, in his letter, in his letter, it, I said to him, I said, your letter that you sent to me, which was right here, made it sound like he had suggested it to the judge, and the judge was all for it. But he said, no, the judge is the one that suggested it to them. Um, <coughs> did you see where it said it in your letter? No, I didn't. I don't right. see where it said so about anything. You've mentioned third parties on several occasions. Did you have something or somebody in mind? No, no. The court, the court, the judge would be my would be the party that I would say. Oh, I see. The judge is going to because that's what we've been told. The judge is going to look at our zoning. The judge will decide if he sees he's going to look at it and say, okay, where in your zoning does it say you can't have an eight foot fence? Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. there in our zoning, it says you can't have an eight foot fence. Mm -hmm. He's going to say. <laughs> It's clearly in the zoning. There's no eight foot fence. Okay. Where in the zoning does it say you can't have a blue fence? And it's it's going to come down to you know it's got to be part of the neighborhood or what's the word you'd use there? Compatible with the neighborhood. Compatible, compatible with, with, with the, the right. Well, you know, and, and and he's gonna he's gonna go down through. Any yeah. Any person is entitled to represent him himself or herself in a case before the environmental court, but not represent anyone else. Representing yourself without a lawyer is sometimes called appearing before the court, pro se. So anybody in an environmental court can, anybody can go to an environmental court. I, and I, I, don't, I, didn't, I don't read it the way you just yeah, did. No, I think if you're it says, taking, it says taking if you, the issue if you're to the court, involved, you, represent you may yourself. represent yourself. No, these were signed by John and Karen Abel. These are John, these are the John and Karen Abel's forms. Yeah. That's what John and Karen Abel signed to get in there, because they're any person. They're not, they have no, their, their land doesn't abut it. There's no, there's no reason for them to have party status other than they wanted party status to this. Yeah, and that was why I was surprised, Herb, that a member of the DRB didn't apply under that. Right. And I Request. think that's what we all said. Right. 
that. But the select board that, wasn't going to. Because take we, part we as a select your board. Did your signature precede the letter, the original uh, letter from the board? No, it does not. This is dated October 16th. Yes, yeah, that followed them being named by the court, by the papers of the court, filed by the court, I believe. In other words, they were, they were named by the court for whatever reason. Because they seek to be par a party to the hearing, that was what I understood. Right, that's why, I'm, right. that's why I thought we had all said the last they, time. They, they, I guess I'll, I mean, it'll be too late. I'll have to review my emails, but I even thought I could have had party status if I wanted based on the notice from the court. <clears throat> All right, so I have a, um, so Zeke moved and Bill second. Yeah, she's got it here. Okay, okay, thank you. A motion for the DRB to represent the town at the uh, hearing for the TBOs. The whole DRB hearing? Uh, I... No, I guess they said, Zeke said whoever on the DRB that wanted to. So it could be the whole DRB. Or portions thereof. Oh, right. And I guess I'd prefer that it was just either the chair or the vice chair. Yes, um, I'll, I'll even take that as a friendly amendment. Okay. Mm -hmm. You accept that, Bill? Oh, sure. sure. Can we make it Lou or myself? Lou isn't vice. Who's vice chair? John Warren. Okay. John Warren, John's All right. Since we fairly, have volunteers, Lou, Lou has volunteered, right? Yes, he did. How about uh, so two another, volunteers? Another friendly. Just representative. <laughs> two volunteers from the DRB to represent the town. <coughs> and you're accepting that friendly amendment? Okay. Yeah. Discussion. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Okay. Moving on. Ancient do roads. You, well, does, do you need a letter or? Yeah, do you need do a letter or anything from us? We probably need something for the court eventually, but you know, we'll just let just we'll contact them and see what we have to do. Okay. And then we'll let the let Lori know. Or, all right. Thanks for all your work. Yep. Uh, yeah. A lot of work. Right Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ancient Roads update. Uh, we already we, did that. We've done it, yes. Um, it was so good. Let's, I mean, it's only quarter of seven of us. <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> we have the, uh, well, don't we have the um, Act 250 hearing? We, did, we skipped the road, gravel pit. Yes, we right. Yeah, there's a meeting tomorrow at 12.30. And one at 1.30. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there was a second email about being a second meeting at 1.30. That's the one that they want Lee and right. Brian Harlow right. to Did anybody mention to Lee that? Yeah, so I gave them a copy of it. And there's a sense that everything's going okay there, there and all? Right? I, I, you know, I, I, don't, I have not been kept in the loop well at all, but what little bit of emails I read, it senses what I, I get something from Corey once in a while. Um, Those are seems like to, things are uh, moving. Yeah, I think everybody's contacted, getting. Uh, Steve Casabona. And right, yeah. Corey has, yeah. The Residents uh, Coalition or whatever is yeah. Copacetic. Corey has contacted all. them based on what few emails I've seen. But, yeah, yeah. Now there's, uh, a new purse, new there's a new couple. person on the north end of the pit. Um, right. A property got sold. Right. Um, so I think they're attempting to contact him mm -hmm. or them. Um, yeah, I mean, my sense is that things are moving along. I don't think Poplar Commons has had any more issues recently that I'd heard. None that have surfaced in emails. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, good. But I am hoping to go tomorrow to the meetings. Right. Good. I'm sure Tom is just called me. I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be inside, right? Yeah. 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 Inside. Yeah. Wait, is it? yeah, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow is in their office, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so moving to the um, all right. We have a let's before we go to the uh, warnings. Let's go to this um, scheduled meeting with emergency manager director. He wants to have a meeting over at the um, community center to show us what he thinks he wants to make how he wants to make that into a um, emergency shelter. 
and um, so he wants to have a special meeting over there for this. Does it have to be a special meeting? I don't. I, I would rather. I would rather make it on a regular night. We just have our meeting over in West Emerson. Yeah, why not? I mean, I think that would be a better way to approach it. Right on your way home. I think it's a marvelous idea. And, um, <laughs> yeah. So, do we want to make the um, February sixth meeting? Since we're not having a hearing that on that day because of my screw up. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Six. That would be okay with me. Okay. We'll have that at the community center. All right. That's okay. Steve, that's all right with you? Yes. Okay. Can I ask a question? Probably not. <laughs> you can no, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Where, where, <laughs> where did the funds come for the rebuilding of the building? <coughs> I mean, the town owns that now. I understand that. But we're talking now remodeling or to manage, and yet we had a tight budget and we know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking 2013, 12, I mean, yeah, 2000. 13, 14 funds if we're going to do anything there. Well, we have to look and see what he has. If anything, it sounds like he's mm -hmm. going to have to come up with the money through uh, BY. It would be the money that we get That's for this. Advance. They would really have to be the ones that would have to furnish it. The money. Yeah, well, yeah, well, we'll have to see what he has What he has there. I mean, if we even do anything. I mean, we've yeah, already got an emergency um, shelter over there. So... I would suspect that he would have to get some grant money or fund money somewhere. Right. It's just not going to come out of the Right. Out, out of, of our budget, yeah. So, all right. So next meeting, February Lewis, did 6th. We, yeah, over there. Yeah. Did okay. we skip the update on the learning collaborative or wasn't there? Or is there any stuff? Update on Unfinished the Unfinished business, yeah. number nine. Yep. Uh, after the last round, I was the one that informed the collaborative officially that they need to pay their taxes. All of it and they came back with uh, some documentation that they thought would solve the problem. It didn't. And um, I contacted Paul Smith of their board, giving him the option to talk. I did that. Uh, I left a phone message, I think, and maybe email. And he responded saying he, on that particular day, which was last Friday, he had a meeting until 3 and then he would call me uh, to see. So uh, he hasn't called yet. So the ball's in their court. The meeting ran late, Bill. It did. It's, it's still, still running. Going. It's still going. going. <laughs> the meter. Who I'm going to have to pay the meter. Harold, you can pay the meter. A couple of times like that. Uh, that was my pen. Uh, so I haven't heard from him. I don't know. But he's uh -oh. also a little bit in flux because. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Tom kind of sent an email saying that, uh, you know, his lame duck status and he should start involving his conversations with somebody else on the, on this board rather than with Tom. So, yeah. I don't know how, how comfortable he is with that or not, but he did say he had to go back and talk things over with his board. What is there to talk over at this point? Uh, nothing yeah. about uh, the tax payment, right. which is due shortly. They're right. well aware of that. Okay. But how do we proceed okay. forward, uh, and how do they get under the incubus of this mistake, I guess? Um, I have some thoughts, but this probably isn't the right. time right now. Those will surface later, I'm sure. Oh, I've got thoughts, too. I just keep those to myself tonight. I'm going to use some of those tomorrow when I call the state over the road. I hope, I hope you do. If you need any help, just this give me a call. Right? Um, so, Jean. Do you have any written documentation of the calls that you've made? Telephone calls? Yeah. I'm you, sure there's a phone. You mean for me to, you, to Paul? From you and from them. Um, do you have anything that in writing yet in regard to our last meeting here and that you talked to him? Do you have anything in writing at all? No, not that I know of. Okay. Not that I know of. Okay. Like I said, they uh, challenged uh, that decision mildly saying they thought they had met a deadline. 
and then in fact discovered that they had not met the deadline. So they're well aware. Okay. They're well aware. And in, from what I understand, they haven't made any tax payments whatsoever. I don't know. That, that. would be That's the August payment. Am I right, Laura? Right. You are correct. Yeah. Um, and so I, I believe that they also owe, owe the interest and the penalty. There is no penalty yet because the penalty is only applied for the February payment, but they do, I mean, they for should. The previous, yeah. Where they should have the interest right. in there. Yeah. Yeah. So and I'd like that documented that I. And I think we that. voted to tell Pam that they were going to get their penalties waived because of all the confusion. Didn't we do that at our last meeting? Last meeting we did do that. We, we voted to have Pam, because she's the tax collector, she's yeah. the one that decides this. Okay. And she asked us to make that because of all the confusion to waive those penalties, which we normally don't waive for any reason, but because of the way it all took place and transpired, we said we were going to waive those penalties. They've been sent the bill for uh, the taxes, seven thousand or four hundred, well, half five, that. four hundred, four hundred and sixty-five. But how can you cents. abate um, the the interest or penalty or whatever when that has to be done by the board of abatement? The, no, we're we're not. We're doing the penalties, which are tax collector, I mean the um, tax, the delinquent taxes is what we're, the penalties for delinquent taxes are all that she would be collecting. That's all she would be collecting and that's what we told her that, you know, she asked if she had to collect the, the penalties for that. Because that would be the delinquent tax collector that would collect those penalties. And we told her that if she wanted, we'd vote on it and that she didn't have to do it. She she we, she doesn't need a vote. She the delinquent tax collector doesn't need anything for the um, interest that would have been a little penalties for the uh, late. Don't call it penalty. Call it interest. Interest on the taxes. And it has so you're telling out. me that if I didn't pay my taxes on time? No. And I no, asked absolutely not. No. That's no. no. You yeah. yeah. no, because what, I, what I've been saying is the listers. And the select board, the listers told, one of the listers w went to them and told them, do not pay your taxes because we're taking care of this. I, I don't remember that any of the listers did that. The lister sat right here at the last meeting and said, he, he said it. And um, that they didn't have to pay it right then because it was all getting worked on. And, uh, I don't think so. And um, to, to hold off on it. And um, it was... So no, Gene. If, if we we as a select board, first thing, aren't the ones that make this decision. Our tax collector makes this decision, and she comes to us, and we have turned people down for every reason except for when we looked at this and saw how this all transpired, and said this is wrong. This if is we had begun with you pay your taxes in lieu of the end of this negotiation, then we'll give it back to you if you have complete tax exempt status a uh, status, and you won't be paying any taxes. That would have been foolish. As foolish as it would have gone the other way, you know. So we said, uh, essentially, uh, because we hadn't determined any kind of status, right. uh, that, you know, they could pay the taxes at the February. If there were taxes to pay, and we thought there would be, mm -hmm. but a fraction of the complete value of seven thousand and change. Are you Am I using the wrong terminology? No, you're you're, you're clear. Yeah. Still so, not clear. I have to guess. They don't know. They what? don't know. Did not know until just they thought two they weeks were, ago, three weeks ago, that they were going to have to pay taxes, and they also did not know how much tax, if any, they were going to have to pay. They, Does that make are sense? you telling are you telling me that they didn't know they had to pay any tax? No. No, no I'm not. I'm saying okay. nobody uh, we would have had a different issue to work with if they had been given complete tax exempt status right. by the state. Right. right. Then were we where would we have been? Possibly with nothing. So you were you you Gene, yeah. you, you you yourself have been in on these conversations when we were trying to make a deal. Oh, I know, yeah. We were trying to make a deal with them. They were going under the impression that they were going to have to pay twenty-four hundred and 
fifty six dollars mm -hmm. for their, and it was going to be due when this bill came due, the February. Oh, not any of the August bill. They, Th that was a. That was the part that was going to be. No, th because this whole deal was taking place. This whole thing was taking place during this whole time. In August. In August. In September. September October, in October. October. November. And we finally came yeah. up with a deal saying, here's what you guys are going to have to pay. Mm -hmm. This year, you're going to have to pay it on February 8th, 5th. Next year, this coming, that this year to now, then from now on, that payment was always going to be on our, uh, the first tax bill. In August, it was that's when there, that was the agreement that we had come up with. Us. So that thirty-three percent would have been due in August next, next year, next not this past year, okay. next year, and okay. from from then on. And this, they're not shirking their responsibility. They're not trying to pull one over on us but in any way here. I remember Pam saying that night they they asked when you know about the tax, and Pam said to them as soon as possible. And they haven't paid a penny. Right, and it's well, due as a, they, I sent them a bill for the seven thousand and change due February fifth. They're quoted in the Brownwell Reformer if you want to read it, saying that you know this has ended up being a bit of a surprise for us and it's not going to be easy, but we can make that payment by yeah, February fifth. Yeah, I've got 5th. that clipping right in here. So it's not like they're not going to pay it. Mm -hmm. But who knows, perhaps down the road, here's some oil for your fire, some gasoline for your fire. We may even uh, work something. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm out of the limb to say this, but we might work some kind of a deal so that they would not have paid the complete taxes for this year because of uh, the negotiation difficulties we were involved in. Has has um, the select board heard anything from their contacts with the state, from the LCT? Yes, that I, I explained that a little bit earlier. They oh, thought. I guess I'm deaf. Well, no, I don't know. They thought they uh, had possibly notified the state in time one of those deadlines that they missed. But in fact, the state came back and informed them that they had not made the deadline. That's what led to the decision to require them to pay the full taxes on February. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know. They thought that they may have doc they may have had documentation that could have alleviated them of the burden of paying the full tax on February five. But they don't have that, so they're preparing to pay the full tax on February five. Does that make sense? Not really, but um, mm. I'll muddle through it. Oh, I thought it was very well said. Uh, Good job. I well, like you guys. <laughs> I'm older than you guys. That takes a while. I'm not sure what that means. Older and wiser, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Any more concerns, Gene? Oh, no. No, no I know. Something it's just, 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 just open the door. Exactly. Why would I say something like that? Thanks for waiting. Can we call this? Can you start it? Now that Tom's here, can we call this meeting to order? No, uh, you need a motion to right, adjourn. So you all, you all I, yeah, I, I just, you know, not to executive session. I'm concerned about this whole issue. All right. Although some people will be happy to see you because I do presentations at Thompson House and they've lambasted me for being quiet at select board meetings and they said, that guy who sits next to you, he talks all the time. That's the guy. It's they, kind of my thing. They don't know who you are. They don't, they don't know who you are. But they, he sure talks a lot. So I, yeah, I thought it was Zeke. <laughs> no, it wasn't Zeke. Oh, it wasn't Zeke they were talking about. Okay, so moving on. You've missed some discussions, Tom. We're going now. I guess we're at prepare for 2013 town meeting warnings. Is that where everybody thinks we're at? Yep. Does anybody want to bring up any other new business before that? Um, no, I just... I do. do we have no, any, no. anything on the Renault gravel pit that... Did you guys cover that? Oh, never mind. You talk I about talked the, about what emails I'd gotten uh, and the meetings and uh, tomorrow. And so you have. Well, it's just uh, um, that it's all right with the board to have Bob Fisher at the Act 250 hearing. Um, that was the question. Did you guys talk about no. that? No. Oh, yeah. Um, Corey and um, um, and Mike Renaud are um, growing a little concerned with some of the questions they're getting from the commission um, uh, that 
that there could be some complications that they're not aware of, and, and they may be of a nature that could be spoken to directly at the hearing with an attorney present, if we had somebody who understood the Act 250 process there, rather than have to say, well, we'll have to consult with our attorney and then reschedule. So what they're worried about is not so much that um, the permit will get bogged up, but that we may end up getting delayed with a second hearing if we don't have a legal counsel present. So they thought that the best choice for legal counsel would be ours, since it's in our municipality and it's our, um, uh, it's our, uh, um, our operation, and um, because uh, Bob's very well versed in Act 250 proceedings, so that's your recommendation. I would recommend that we uh, we let Bob uh, you want to make get involved for this. I would, I would move that uh, Bob Fisher uh, um, uh, attend uh, one pre-hearing meeting um, and uh, and attend the Act 250 hearing it, itself uh, on behalf of of the town. I'll second that. Discussion on that? And this still just gets his fees would get split all three ways. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's that's what that's as I put it to the partners. I didn't get absolute um, uh, agreement to that, but nor did I get objection. But since all of the other fees and the engineers and everything else involved with permitting is split that way, it would be very odd that this wouldn't be. So I'm, I'm assuming that's the case. Okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anything else you see quickly on that thing you want to discuss, Tom? We've all discussed it. But anything you want to have on the end? Yeah. No? Okay. When was the pre hearing? Um, Oh, so did I say pre-hearing? We're having a meeting tomorrow at. Oh, that's the, okay. Yeah, and Steve I, talked about that. Before. Right, I didn't. I, I misspoke. Okay. It's it's just a meeting of the of the principals. Just sort of, uh, Corey's going to give us a presentation to sort of preview what he's going to give to the commission. So we're going to look at that tomorrow. So we've got to go down through the uh, warning and figure out the articles that we want to present, and if these articles all look correct. Is it? The one thing that you need to keep in mind is that tomorrow at 5 o'clock is the deadline for any additional articles. Right. So like if the library decides they want to put an article in or there's somebody... If they can get it in. Yeah, if they can get it in or the white lines. Right. I think those are the only two the that, are, that are heard that went out. Yeah. The fire department didn't ever No, come. they're going to put it on the floor. Okay. And... Um, so, the library doing the same? Or no, they they took out a petition. They're going to try to get one on here. Till so tomorrow. yeah, till tomorrow. That's why we're going to have to. If they come in with them, we're going to have to have a special meeting on Friday. Hopefully, we can do it on Friday for about three minutes. Come in and just okay them. If Friday works for everybody, does Friday work for everybody in the afternoon? I got to be in White River most of the day, but I'll be back by three or something. So. I have a window of opportunity. I got to work at 4 and I have to work again 5.40. No idea where I'm going to be. Will you be around, Z? Yep. Yeah. Steve, you said you'd be after 3? Yep. Yeah. And I'll be here, so the three of us can do it if you guys. Oh, yeah, I, um, I can be. I got to take. I got hockey practice. I got to head two by four, so something around three. You need to I'm, sharpen your skates, Tom. No, <laughs> I think my hockey practice is kids. Yeah. So three o'clock <laughs> Friday here. Sound nothing. good? If you have to, like, if we you don't. could adopt it tonight with the provision that no other articles are received tomorrow. Oh right, 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 right. We yes, this here. But if there's another, if there's articles, right. we'll have to meet. Right. The other articles come in. We okay. have to. What time? Say three thirty. What time? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you, if you want to make it a little later, well, the deadline's five o'clock, so they might oh, not have it here. Right. All right. So uh, yeah. well, well, deadline's well, tomorrow. tomorrow. We're, we're yeah. going to meet yeah. Friday. Yeah. Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah, we're doing it Friday. So three o'clock. Well, deadline's tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Right. Is three thirty any better for yeah, anybody? Yeah, three thirty. Three thirty is fine. That all right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I to get the yep, that works. Speeding. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> so. 
So yeah, we can adopt this as, as it is right now if uh, nothing else comes in. Jean's arm's gonna fall. I know, that's why I'm, 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 I'm letting <laughs> yeah, it hang yeah. over there. She, she, I'm, I'm she, not, I, got, I got a couple extra gray really hairs good for tonight. Your circulation. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jean. <laughs> Um, I was under the impression that there was supposed to be an email to the select board from the listers in regard to personal property. Yes, oh, I forgot. Yes, right. you're right. Good thing you were here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to ask about that. So. Um, and we never so got the email, or. Why I came. It's it's in here. Oh yeah, it was not I saw it. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it. it. yeah, it's in the packet. We, it would yeah. be under. It's not new business. Board of Listers would like to have an article. And it's, yeah, that's why it's here. And I mean, we haven't missed it because this is what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it yet. Oh, Lewis, you're so funny. Yeah. All right. So you want to talk about this for a second? So, uh, for a I, second. Mean, I would like to just say that we have discussed it immensely and would like to have that voted on at town meeting to, um, you know, do to, uh, you know, move it. From remove those from the grand list, and that has to be voted on by the town because it makes about three thousand dollars for the town, but it's not equitable because there are lots of businesses out there that uh, could be put on this list. So it's kind of a voluntary compliance. It, yes, yep. and what ha what happens is. Every year we just go through what we had for a list for the year before, send them the inventory notice, and they fill it out. We have to accept their numbers because we are not qualified to do any of that kind of um, you know, right. Right. valuations. So, so is that something that we want to put as a as an yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I started to write something and then I got a phone call and didn't have time to mm -hmm. finish it. <laughs> but yeah, we yeah we definitely want to put it on as an is article. And, um, is that something that you would uh, feel you, good about putting on? I'd rather have you go get the signatures, Jean. <laughs> can you get them by five o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> no, I think we can do this if everybody's oh, in agreement. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell me yeah. exactly what you want me to do, and I'll do it. <laughs> um, actually, uh, just a little side note sure. here. Does the listers have a chair? Do you guys have a chair? Do uh, let me ask you a question. Why doesn't the list? Why don't the listers have a chair? Um, with this learning collaborative thing, with this here, I really think. I mean, the select board can't tell the listers what to do because you guys are elected. But I think it's foolish for any group of, you know, people like this not to run with a chair. Mm -hmm. Somebody that is in there for to answer questions mm -hmm. it's just mind-boggling yeah, that you has, guys don't do a chair didn't and you have a lead lister I mean, it you? has been a how do i say this bone of contention um Lord, help me out <laughs> bone of contention, bone of contention. Yes, contention yes, sounded good to me <laughs> bone of contention and um rather than to have ill feelings it's been just well, I, people. Uh, I'm going to go on record as saying it's foolish. It's really foolish not to have a chair. Somebody, somebody that's somebody the that's lead, the lead person, in lead, to, lead position for things yeah, like this. I mean, we we yeah. have we have you come in for this. When we had the lister sitting here the other day, I was, I mean, I was in shock when we were talking, and we were getting different answers from different people on the from the listers, and it was. You, you guys need a chair. Or you need somebody, a lead person. I don't care if it's a chair or a lead person. We can't tell you to do it, but... A um, spokesperson, either, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so, all right. Um, just, I, just a word of thought. Right. I will take that back to the listers and see what happens. But like I said, we can't tell you what to do, so... Yeah, I know. And I, I agree with you. I agree wholeheartedly. Because the last chairman that they had was me. And then it was discussed that the next year we don't need one. No. All right. So let's get so, to the articles. Thank you. Yes. So you will meet on Friday, and I'll have that added. Yes, we do have to meet now. Yes. yes. 
So do we need to work out a wording for that tonight, or is that all pretty well? Is that pretty what I was going to do is I was going to run it by Bob Fisher. Yep. Because we always run our warning by him anyways, just to make sure that it looks okay. That the wording is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Is that okay? Yep. All right. Everybody else think that's okay? Besides just me? Good. All the heads are shaking, yeah? Uh, <laughs> some sideways, some up and down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they were all moving. <laughs> I would actually just pause the end. <laughs> so do you want me to do anything with helping you get that together? Sure. We can do that tomorrow? Time. Yep. Okay. It'd be great. Or you could just have Thank the chair. You could have the chair or the lead lister help her out. <laughs> well, okay. So we've got the elected articles for the elected officials first. Anybody see anything under there that should be added? Sure, get your petition in this. Nobody will sign it. <laughs> I got one signature. <laughs> I'm just. I don't know. People don't want me. I guess. All right. <laughs> Uh, it'll be in. It'll be in tomorrow. Jean, do you want a copy of it so you can see it? Do you have one? Do you have one? No. Do you have another copy, Lori? Otherwise, I'll share with you. No, I have another one right here. I have two. No, she's she's got another one. Oh, she she's got herself. Here, here, Lori. Here, you need one. You have your very own. Thank you. Here, I want you to have one. Thank you. Okay, come up with something for us. Well, that's pretty straightforward. It's one of the most straight historicals I've seen. Yeah, it is pretty. Human scan. Transaction. Uh, yeah, boy, it's pretty. Yeah, cut and dry. Yeah. Are we, we're in the afternoon, This we're after lunch this No, year. we're in the morning. Oh, first. We're in the morning. Yeah. We're in the morning. We're first. Oh, first right. thing. I was thinking about that the other night. I thought, sure, we were first. No. I remember last year you flew that. Oh, that's right. Okay. It showed, remember? Yeah, you were you were having a tough time. I was a little jet, I was, I was a little jet lag. Oh, you were. Uh, you take, took the red eye from San Diego. That's right. Is there anything we, we want to go down through here and... Um, Mark, who wants to present what? I don't know what good one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we were hoping you weren't going to show up and we were going to put your name under every one of them. I think I read story. No, we want this to go quickly. <laughs> Is it going to be easy? It's going to be my last <laughs> ride, Steve. Yeah. yeah. Will it be easy? Yeah. Talk to you. Because I want to see you. Oh, it's on TV. It's telling us. Or tell me. Oh, it does? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious, does anyone ever check the tax exempt status of Green Mountain Camp or Evening Star Grange just to make sure their paperwork and everything is all in order? Or do they present anything to you? No. They they come they just come to town meeting and they okay. so give, it's just give, they, get, they give their pitch and that's it, yeah. So it's just a matter of faith that they Okay. Tax exempt status. I, I do think Green Mountain Camp has tax exempt status. And current? I've heard vibes that it might not be, that's why I'm asking. Ah, okay. And I don't know that for a fact, so right. um, I was just wondering if there's ever any checking on it. Oh, right. I suppose we could give them a heads up and well, tell them to be ready for a question for from a the question. floor and have their documentation. Well, doesn't, doesn't mm -hmm. the state have to? That like in, no, you know, no. no. This that's that's why this is different. With their taxes, this, is, this doesn't get them out of school tax. Right, no. the no. town pays the school taxes. Right. When, when, when we give them tax exempt status, we're saying the town is picking up right. that portion. Right. That's that's what that's what it's doing, and that's what the Grange also. Right. right. Can't you go online and find out if they are? Yeah. I think that there was some way you could do that. What, if they're 501c3? Yeah. 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 I think you can. Yeah. Well, as we found out, even if they are, it doesn't necessarily mean they're, <laughs> they're, <No>. tax, <laughs> they're tax exempt. 
But I think if the good people at Emerson says they are, then they're picking up, you know, they're agreeing to pay the taxes for them. All right. I'll so take number five if you want. What's number five in the catalog? All right, it's capital expenditures. Okay. That's a tractor mower blower. Yeah. And the heating system. Yep. Can't make Steve do it. <laughs> oh, you you could penalize me by making me do it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I rescind the on. Steve, you, you do that one, Steve. Let's oh, I do it. But yeah. <laughs> we don't want you. You wouldn't do it with the same gusto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Use the gusto. What else do we have to do? Four. Well, Lewis, you do six and seven, right? Yeah, I get, I get six yeah. and seven. Oh, Lewis does? Oh, okay. Why? Did you want to say No, seven? I'm just trying to keep as quiet as I can. Bill's doing the tractor. Um, I'll do number four. I mean, we all have, we're all... Uh, I refuse to go after you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then number, you do number four. You, I'll do You the take number blow. three. <laughs> So you got four, right. Tom? Oh, I'll do three. Three, that's a good one. Okay. There'll be a lot of time between me and you, Bill, don't worry. The crowd will <laughs> calm down by then. Oh, hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> Steve, Steve you, want, you, you want number two? Number two. Probably the sexiest one of that's, the whole That's list. the one we usually give to, you know, yeah. That makes me go first. Huh? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Save the best for first. Yeah. And then, of course, we'll have somebody from the Grange and um, somebody from Green Mountain Camp. Tom, you did the oh, last week, um, you did, Yes, you did. I think, is it? I somebody mean, was mad with you. Who was it? The Grange or the Camp? I can't remember. No, the Camp did their own. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. So I did the Grange out of turn. Uh, me speak out of turn. I can't believe that. <laughs> I was surprised. Yeah, I think we let somebody from the Grange take that. <coughs> Unless they take they're from Green Mountain, take the Green Mountain camp. It's nice for the towns, for them, for them to speak up for their own. And then we ha we'll have to do one. Does somebody want to hit number, um, the new number 10 that we're going to have? Um, the listers. The listers. Property. I can do that. Okay, so Zeke's got the new number 10. Personal. That's the personal property. Yeah. Um, Gene, can you, um, if there's questions, you know, and there will be, I'm mm -hmm. sure, um, be prepared to mm -hmm. speak to that. Sure. And, Sure. Uh, I brought information tonight just in case you people wanted to see, um, you know, what, what it says in our handbook and whatever. But right, that was in our packet. Yeah, I think. Yeah, if you're yeah. accepting it, you and, and you're all in. All the three listers are in a group. We are all one yes. Mm -hmm. And there's I mean, possibly another one, uh, another number ten or number eleven from the library and from the library and the white lines and the white lines and the white lines but they'll they'll say their own they'll bring those yes, up sir. you're right yeah. who's doing the white lines petition pam and um yeah. janet avery they would talk in the library would talk about their own yes options. okay yep we'll let them bring those up themselves so we're covered we are covered do we need someone who will take uh, what what's now article 10 to fact, any other business? That Didn't the moderator call on that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So other than that, boy, that's it. This is about yes. to be as simple as it is. Yeah. I'll say I got it awful easy. No, no nuclear power plants to close. No wars to end. <laughs> no, no presidents to sanction. You know, <laughs> we we had Bush on the agenda one year. Good thing we're doing this in the way. Did we were going to impeach the president? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. 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 I thought we were reaching myself. We <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> reached all the way to Texas. <laughs> so. All right. And 
I just want to let everybody know before we close this meeting, I'd probably like Tom to make this motion because it is is going to be his last meeting with us as a select board member. He's going to. What's he doing in February? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, skip, he's skipping February <laughs> on us because yeah. he, he knows. Well, our next meeting, I'm in Dallas working, and then the one after that, I'm on vacation. So. And, and you're going to be my last the full paycheck? <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know. I'm going to kick some back. <laughs> to um, gravel. But I will, be, I will be at our hearing next week. Um, so, and I'll, of course, finish up any business that I, that I can um, well, offline. Well, our, our ratings at the Thompson House are going to go down. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or yours are going up. Yeah. 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 Well, they'll take this from a feature film, The Selected Shorts, when I, once I'm on. <laughs> you have to think how quick the meetings will fly now. Right. So if I may, I'd like to move that we, uh, we adjourn. I'll second that. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.